हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग स्टैटिस्टिक्स इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन वी आर सपोज टू कंसंट्रेट ऑन थ्री थिंग्स मीन एंड समटाइम्स दिस मीन इज नोन एज एवरेज मीडियन एंड मोड सो these all are called central tendencies or central values or central values and sometimes they are called middle values so these values what are these values and why we are studying these three things so let's discuss your class for example in your class think that 40 students are there or 50 students are there and if our prime minister comes to your class and he asks that what is the height of this class so you would be thinking that should an individual says that my height is this my height is that no he means to ask that what is average height so what do you do in such case you find the central value you find the middle value you find the leading value the value which represents the whole class the value which represents the whole class so for that what you will do you will add all the heights of all the students of your class and divide by the number of students in your class and similarly you have seen your mark sheet for example in class 8 you scored 20 marks out of 50 in hindi 30 out of 50 in english 40 out of 50 in mathematics 35 out of 50 in social studies and 25 out of 50 in science i know that you would not like to score so less marks you wish to score more marks but when someone asked you that what is your result then what do you say you add all these and you used to divide some of all these by what some of all these by 5 because the total number of observations here we have 5 so what we are doing we are adding this value this value this value so let's say this is first value and represent this first value by x1 the second value by x2 third value by x3 fourth value by x4 fifth by x5 and suppose if we have more values then xn then how to find average or mean to find this we add all x size x1 x2 up to xn then divided by n so this is the method of finding mean or average and this mean is also known as arithmetic mean arithmetic mean there are three kind of means so this mean means arithmetic mean so what mean i am discussing with you you just google it so that how many means are there and if i say that mean what kind of mean is this so you would you would find that this is arithmetic mean okay so this is what arithmetic mean so in arithmetic means what we do we add all the values and divide by 
the total number of observations for example mean of mean of 2 4 6 8 0 what we shall do this is x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 you cannot neglect this zero that is why i have included this zero that this zero cannot be sorry this zero cannot be excluded i told that included but this zero cannot be excluded you will have to include it so mean is sum of all this x1 x2 up to x5 and divided by n and what is n here number of observations how many observations are there five so mean and mean is denoted by x bar mean is denoted by x bar so x and bar x bar is sum of all these 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 and 2 plus 8 is 10 4 plus 6 is 10 10 plus 10 20 divided by 5 so average value is what average value is 4 but if we have a very large data large data means suppose you have billions of data trillions of data then what do you do you make sometimes groups let's consider second example this was first example mean of mean of 1 1 2 3 2 4 2 5 5 and 0 1 so let's make now group with frequency how many times this how many times this is called frequency and denoted by fi fi means frequency how many times this one appears one appears three times three times one appears and this two how many times this two two is also appearing three times next value is three how many times three appears one and about four four appears how many times this four appears appears once let's make a clear table so that there will be no confusion at all fi and xi this one value one appears three times two appears three times three appears once four appears once and five appears twice and there is one more value zero zero appears once zero this zero can be written at the top or at the bottom or at any place no problem at all so now we shall add all these values so there is a method to add all these values either you add all these values individually or th apply this technique how many times this one appears thrice so sum of all these ones sum of all these ones is what 3 into 1 fi into xi this into this and 2 appears how many times 3 times so 2 plus 2 plus 2 how many times 3 times so it is 3 into 2 6 and 1 appears sorry 3 appears once therefore this is 1 into 3 1 into 4 2 into 5 1 into 0 so what did I do I did nothing except their addition but by making a group by making what by making a group so after grouping and after adding 
all these after adding if I add all these so to adding all these is what adding all these is what summing summing or summation and summation is denoted by this symbol a Greek letter known as Sigma this symbol is what Sigma what does it rep represent it represents summation means addition addition of what addition of all these values this value is called f1 x1 this will be called f2 x2 f3 x3 and likewise this value will be f5 x5 adding all these so suppose we have a very large data then how many groups we shall have we shall have very very big groups so to write them in a very precise way we shall use this sigma or summation and how do we write sigma fi xi means we shall add all fi xi but what is i i should be from 1 to here in this case i will be 1 to 5 i is 1 to 5 then we shall write f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus f3 x3 up to what up to f5 x5 and what is this f1 x1 f2 x2 i am writing here so that it will be very clear to you f3 x3 f4 x4 and plus f5 x5 and this should be divided by what to find average to find average this should be divided by the total number of observations so how many observations were there in the list they were these many so you can add all these sigma fi adding all these observations only is summation of fi only i is equal to 1 to n i is equal to 1 to and in this case we have only five values therefore i is equal to 1 to 5 only and what is there some 3 plus 3 6 plus 1 7 plus 1 8 plus 2 10 plus 1 sorry 3 3 6 1 plus 1 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 10 plus 1 11 so its sum is 11 and to find average what shall we do to find average we shall add all these values and what is this this is called sigma fi xi from i is equal to 1 to 5 add all these 3 into 1 3 plus 6 9 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 4 12 plus 4 into 1 means 16 16 plus 10 26 26 so what should be average average should be 26 upon 11 but as per the formula the notation will be like this i is equal to 1 to 5 fi xi upon sigma fi i is equal to 1 to n fi and answer will be 26 divided by what 26 divided by 11 so if i generalize this if i generalize this means if i do not constraint myself for or do not restrict myself for only five values so the formula will be like this i is equal to 1 to n fi xi divided by sigma fi i is equal to 1 to n and mind it that these two summations cannot be clubbed means you cannot write like this if you are thinking thinking that this can be clubbed no these two cannot be clubbed means in numerator sigma will be different and for denominator sigma will be different and if this is like this then these two will be cancelled but here these two cannot be cancelled because this outcome has come 
after multiplying and then adding okay so this is for mean for average for finding average and let's come to the next tool of central value is median and in median it is called sometimes it is called the middle most value all the values are mid values all the values are central values but this is called middle most value middle most value so how to find this middle most value let's see suppose we have observations 2 4 3 1 6 8 2 so first of all either we arrange them in ascending order or in descending order so arrange them in ascending order 1 2 if a number appears twice then do write it twice 1 2 2 3 4 6 8 either in ascending order or in descending order and median is what median is the middle most value so which value is the middle most value here you can see this value is the middle most value because left to this three values are there and right to this three values are there so in general if we observe these values and on the basis of our observations we can find the middle most value that the, this value is the middle most value but to generalize it let's make a formula for this so the formula is if n is odd for example here number of observations are odd odd means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 how many observations are there 7 and the value is what the value is this fourth value from this side fourth from this okay so if n is odd then n plus 1 by 2th value is n plus 1 by 2th value is median value is median you can see here what is n in this case n is 7 7 plus 1 by 2 so it is fourth value fourth value is what you can see one two first value second value third value fourth value so fourth value is what three so therefore median is three but if n is even if n is even then there will be change in median so my dear students wait for the next video in the next video we will be going to discuss more about median and mode so be with me in the next video and myself dr rakesh kumar tripathi your guide your friend and wish you good luck till the next video